Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 5. Alright, the previous episode we got to meet a new character. Uh, his name is Tokagero. Now, uh, I've said this before in the previous uh, uh, episode's discussion as well. Uh, the backstories of two characters that we have met are quite messed up. Now, uh, like I really like how, like you know, this kind of is not what actually the shonen genre is. Like you know, shonen genre is actually like you know, like friendship, and you know, like it's it's for like teenagers, and so that's why like the the whole like dark, uh, like you know, like going into the dark side of the anime. This does not happen in shonen animes. Most of it, like you know, uh, but like this is like this show is not dark it's not dark i'm not saying that like some of the situations are quite dark for example as i said like in the whole um pyron situation like someone killed him just so that he can get they can get his body and uh, use it as a puppet tokagero about uh, her about his past about his past with his mom how his mom fed him like you know his, her flesh just so that he could survive like these are pretty dark in my opinion like it's like you know it's a little bit of a different type of dark but it's dark so like it's really what can i say refreshing to see some kind of uh, like a shonen like this and also the whole like anna and yo's dynamic their like you know differences like how yo is like the shonen protagonist who like you know who uh, forgives everyone and wants to make friends with everyone whereas anna is the realist and she like only like you know looks at the how it will benefit her you know like it's it's like it's really like quite nice to see like such dynamic in one show you know in one like shonen show like the dynamic in the like two uh, the two people's uh, the two persons personality like all of these things so i'm really glad like you know like i've never seen this show before like this had a the original anime i've not seen it this is the first time i'm watching it so like i'm quite impressed with all of these so yeah without further ado let's get started with this episode let's see what this episode is about uh, probably we're going to meet some new more new characters and i'm looking forward to it because the opening shows a lot of characters and yeah so yeah without further ado let's get started all right i'll put in the subtitles and the timer here send it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one, go. Hmm. Oh, Anna is cooking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, what? Wait, wait, what is it doing cooking food? Um, yeah, and how is she, he, she talking like that? Oh, wow. Yeah, she, he's a shaman as well. Yeah. Oh. Chef, wow. Wait, Anna thinks that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's good. I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Like, you know, like how. <laughs> like you know how the enemies kind of join the main character but he says he wants to be a chef <laughs> okay
Okay. All right. Let's see what this episode <laughs> brings. Oversoul, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, really? Wait, they fought with each other? Okay. Okay. Oh, this this was not shown. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, who will he fuse with? He needs a spirit to... Hmm. What? Wait, what? I don't think that works like that. Oh, it really happened. <laughs> what is that? Rago. Star is a symbol of destruction. Oh, Shaman King. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, everyone is seeing this. Wait, what? Is the horse talking? Oh, okay. I was thinking the horse was talking. <laughs> okay. King will be resurrected. Silver. Oh, what? Did did they do? Yeah, did they increase the training? Hmm. Okay. We were. Who is this guy? <laughs> oh no, he's just a salesman. Or maybe he's hiding something, you know? Some kind of secret. <laughs> That's my kind of... Oh, so someone's... Wait, what? Okay.
Hmm? What? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, but he will have to get stronger. I'm talking about yo. You know? <laughs> okay. Well, just like he cannot grow stronger, others like you know, shaman spirits can all cannot also go stronger. So it's kind of the same. Uh, oh, wait, he's here as well. Damn, this guy is like. <laughs> wow, that's straightforward. Oh, this guy is silver. Oh, so many of them. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is like a preliminary test or something. Great spirits. Oh. Okay. Ten minutes. What? Five hundred. Okay, 10 minutes is not enough time, I think. Mm, I don't... Yeah, like... Well, there must be a reason for his confidence. Wait! What? Then what will they do? Oh, wow. Holy spirits, who's what? Where is that thing? What the hell? Oh. Shaman energy. Okay. Silver arms. Oh, these things are like five of them, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like he is the uh, kind of the one in control. 
Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so uh will that work? Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh yeah. He just like yeah, he just unequipped his Um <laughs> Oh no. No. <laughs> Well, use a shamanic energy, like as he said. Like, what? Oh. Okay. Yeah, take a part of but how how can you do that? Like Yeah, but he's probably going to do something else. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's another way to do it. Okay. Okay, that's smart. Yeah, the katana. Especially it was made by, you know, um, what was the name of his friend? Him. Wow, this is good. Damn, oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he is doing it in his state. Mm, he won't do that. Okay. What? Uh. Oh my god. What the hell is that? He made a bazooka. Hmm. 
Hmm. Great. Amazing outcome. Oh, wow. His naming sense is also funny. <laughs> Yeah, simple enough, you know. Well, I think there must be something in his past that happened. I don't think so. Like, she has been with you for so long. Yeah. Wow, good. Selfish desires in the end. Okay. Wow, that's... <laughs> wow that's a statement Okay, slash it. Okay, there you go. Whoa, it completely destroyed it. Wow, that's something. Yeah, definitely. But... Okay. All right. Hmm. Well, it hit him, like, you know. Oh, <laughs> okay. Damn. Oracle Bell. Okay. Okay.
Yeah. Figure distance. Oh. Only one, the shaman king, I think. Okay, so he has to become the shaman king to get to, you know, meet that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's getting motivated that's like wait what wait what wait did he stab him wait 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 what happened in the end just a sec oh god where is it Okay, like, uh, um, what's his name? Um, Silva. He... He goes away. Who is that person who is stabbed? Is that... Is that Silva or someone else? I think it's someone else, isn't it? It's so dark, I cannot... Just a sec. I think it's someone else because uh, Silva has a headband with like a red headband with like you know uh, white triangles and this guy who has been stabbed yeah he has a blue headband I think isn't it yeah that's blue isn't it yeah he has a blue headband so it's someone else okay I was thinking like how did he even get beaten by him like you no know, like silver is so strong as we could see so like obviously like uh i'm guessing like there are different like you know people who have been given this mission to go and test the candidates so it, it's not only silver like there are different man, like people who, who are going to do this so i'm guessing one of them was weaker than uh, ren so he got defeated or something like that okay like all right so that was this episode this was episode number five yeah five of shaman king now <clears throat> okay so uh at the beginning we see how like uh ryu his name was ryu wasn't it yeah uh he decides to kind of like you know join uh yo's team and <laughs> he decides to become a chef now he says that he is like he has become a shaman isn't like you know so like becoming a shaman means like he will be able to fuse with souls i think so like i'm curious as to who he will like you know make a pact with like which soul or like you know will he will he even get a soul to fuse with or I don't know like that's just something I'm curious about I'm sure we'll get an answer later on and like Tokagero is with Yo isn't he so like I doubt Tokagero is going to go with uh, Ryu he will be with Yo so like I'm guessing a new spirit will come later on who he will I don't know fuse with or something or maybe like I don't know like just let's just wait for it I'm sure we'll get an uh, our answer and um then we meet this person uh this silva and he like so what actually happens here is like as he says like uh, spirits are something which are not of this world so like spirits can fight with spirits but you know like how it kind of went through the human body and like that's why like what they actually like what yo actually did later on is fused the spirit with 
at, like you know with with a with a weapon or with a physical body which is in this world now i don't know if he can fuse it with anything you know if he can fuse amidama with anything but i doubt that i i think like uh, because um the weapon was a katana as he said which is like the samurai's main like you know weapon and i think that this uh, weapon that uh, yo is using that's the weapon that uh, amidama's friend made for him didn't it like as it was explained yeah what was it called Haru harusame wasn't it? yeah so i think that was also why it like amidamar was able to fuse with that weapon and it was so you know like powerful because of that and then we see like you know how like yo kind of what can i say adapts to the situation and he learns about this shaman energy you know and uh like he gave an explanation of what actually shaman energy is like um where is that um okay here it is uh, just a sec it's usually impossible to associate spirits with objects if he could his spirit would overflow from the object okay that spirit that overflowed and become over soul was called the shaman energy all right so that is the shaman energy okay so that's what i have like the excess excess soul power or whatever it kind of flowed out of the weapon and it became the shaman energy and i have to say like uh the reason why anna thinks that like you know yo will become uh the shaman king is quite interesting okay here it is like her explanation where where is that part yeah when manta says that uh do you even think that he will even want to become the shaman king because as he said that he's so lazy you know and he has no motivation and all why like you know why will he even become the shaman king And Anna says that he wants a hassle-free life. Like uh, in the, one of these in the previous episodes, we kind of saw what he said. Like you know, like if I become like the Shaman King, <laughs> I can live like you know without any hassle, and it will be so amazing. And I kind of also like commented on this that like that's like one of the best reasons that I can ever find for a shonen protagonist who like you know wants to become the uh, top. Like you know the reason for it. Like Naruto wanted to become Hokage because he wanted to like you know uh like you know for, for others to respect him that was his main goal and like all of the shonen protagonists they have some kind of a like you know goal and <laughs> yo has this goal of like living a hassle-free life so he wants to become a shaman king like that's one of the one of the most amazing like reasons i've ever like heard especially for a shonen anime <laughs> and like as mantha says that are you sure you want to make a lazy person save the world and I, I have to say like yeah like in a way Martha is correct but like Anna disagrees she says that in fact it's actually good and her reasoning is really interesting she says that besides I don't believe in people who say I'm going to save the world all right um I also hate people who are overly excited and careless after all they are people who never show their desires and are good at talking like she's basically saying that anyone who talks big are only capable of talking big like you know they usually they are useless in like like there are exceptions i i have to say like like kana is not completely correct like i can kind of agree with her in a way but there are exceptions like there are people who say what they do you know uh, but they're very rare and like you know i think that's what anna is trying to say okay uh, when they're cornered they are immediately scared that's also true there are a lot of people like that who kind of like talk speak and in the main portion they kind of like get scared <sighs> okay and she says do you know why they are the problem is that they are following their selfish desires in the end okay like she says that like, that's like his his or her desire of becoming the shaman king that's the desire like you know and but yo is not like that yo just wants to have a peaceful life 
because of that he can always uh wait i kind of missed this uh yo just wants to have a peaceful life um because of that he was always laughing because he is not bound by a goal his freedom is not taken away because he is always free to think about anything he can do anything someone's desire will immediately disappear as soon as his desires come true if shaman's desire was to become a shaman king once it was granted what will that person do no matter what yo will still be himself that's why i love such a yo okay now in a way she's correct but i also have to disagree about a, a few points that she kind of says like one thing is that like as i said like uh, uh, like as she said that uh, only people like th this is like a selfish desire you know like i want to become a shaman king so according to her if someone has this selfish desire once that desire gets fulfilled you know he or she like won't have any goal now i kind of disagree with this a little because like if you lose a goal you can make another goal you know that's not a problem like like you know like uh goal is something that, that's extremely easy to make like if you like something if you want to do something that's your goal so like i can have multiple goals in my life i can like i have made a certain goal which can be fulfilled in let's say about 5 years after 5 years i fulfilled my goal now i'll make another goal a better goal you know and this can go on but according to anna like as, as she says that like after the goal like is completed like what will he or she do now like it's kind of wrong in a way but uh, anna's explanation is also i can agree with it because she after that because of the thing that she says after that she says that but yo is different like yo just wants to be, have a peaceful life you know and that's why like he has no desires he is like you know and that's why like he wants to be like he, he does not want to become a shaman king but like you know if he becomes a shaman king he can be like he can be free he will not be chained by those ideals that he has like that's basically what anna is saying like because he is free because he has no such desires like he can become big like that's basically it but as i said i kind of disagree with the point that anna said before that is that like you know like the goal thing like once you fulfill a goal you won't have anything left that's not completely true you know you can make different goals like this is not revenge like if this was about revenge i would have agreed with anna because like revenge is something different like if you want to have like uh, a revenge with, like you know if you are like um have a vendetta with someone and you want revenge after the revenge has been completed like you will f try to find another person to like you know like to take that place like revenge is a bad thing because it's a bad thing it's bad to make like you know like revenge becomes a cycle but goal is a good positive thing so if your goal has been completed you can make another goal like you know like like different goals you can make like that won't hurt anybody so like i don't know like you know like uh, like <laughs> as far as i could understand what anna was actually trying to say she was trying to say that like you know if you complete your desire of becoming a shaman king you might you might lose all the motivation to continue with that's what she's saying basically i think and that's why like you know she says that i hate people who are like you know overly like you know like what can i say like of like what what actually did she say like who says this kind of big words that yeah like i want to become like you know i want to become a shaman king i will do this i'll do that because like you like that's just it for them but as i said like there's a, there are definite exceptions in this world and um you know like it's not completely true but i completely agree with anna about the whole thing which he said about yo that you know like yo is like a clean slate nothing can like you know uh, what can i say like um nothing will um put a stain on him like she's like a clean like clean paper because he is a clean paper because there's no like 
patch of desire on the paper or patch of something else some kind of like different uh, earthly desires he does not have any of it because he is a clean sheet of paper like he can become big because of that and yeah i agree with that definitely and like you know like and there's another aspect of this like uh, i've also seen this like you know people who are too much uh, who wants to complete a goal and like kind of puts their whole life into it you know like who are overly passionate about something if somehow they are unable to come like you know reach that goal they become devastated and that's extremely normal and that's like a bad thing like that won't happen with you like, you know like i'm not saying that he won't become a shaman king if there are problems that are like he's going to like he's definitely going to face a lot of problems becoming a shaman king like i'm sure he won't get depressed by thinking like oh like i'm f like facing these type of troubles will i be able to become a shaman king this won't happen with you he will all like all the time he will be positive because like another like uh, proof that we see is in this episode where he says that like oh like i was unable to like you know hit him so like at least like i'm alive you know and he also says that at least you're okay amida Maru, at least i'm alive like he looks at the positive of things he like if he was overly passionate about this thing at this moment he would have probably like broken down and said that oh my god i was un unable to do it my whole life is over i won't be able to become a shaman king 500 years blah 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 he would like be completely devastated at that but that did not happen that kind of proves what i said like it's not that like like becoming a shaman king is not his whole life like it's just a part of his life so if somehow like he gets hindered doing it he will keep his confidence it won't be that he will completely break down and start crying that won't happen and like that's one of the negative things of having one single goal like you know you are so invested into it like it's it's, it's extremely like you know like having a single goal being focused on it is extremely positive in a way but the negative part of it is also there like if you are unable to complete the goal because of something like your whole life will be over like you'll be devastated like you know you you lose all confidence from yourself like that's the bad part of having a single goal which you put your life into and basically that was it and like yeah like you uh, uh what was his na name uh, forgot his name uh, the guy who was testing him silva silva yeah silva uh silva also like helped him kind of like you know and uh, make like a new technique that was like a new technique that he was able to do today and that's going to help later on you know <clears throat> i'm sure and we're probably going to get like get to meet new characters and probably the shaman fight will start in a few episodes i'm not sure but you know like they got the oracle so i'm guessing it, like the shaman fight is quite near you know we'll probably get the shaman fight sooner than like you know we think and ren is also on the like you know path of becoming a shaman king and yeah we're probably going to meet a lot of new characters we kind of saw a flash not a flashback but a collage of like you know a few characters who we're probably going to meet and yeah i like silva silva is quite a cool character you know like uh his voice actor who is his voice actor is quite uh, i can recognize that voice um i cannot pinpoint it but his voice is extremely uh familiar but anyways um so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was episode number five of shaman king so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll check them out so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day